Hello everybody. Today I want to talk to you about uh, lukewarm Christians. You know that's something everyone has struggled with one time or another. I'm guilty of that myself. And um, you definitely don't want to you definitely don't want to be a lukewarm Christian at all. But uh, let me read uh, Revelation chapter 3, verse 15 and 16. It says, I know your works. You are neither cold nor hot. Will that you were neither cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out my mouth. See, God want us. He want all of us. He don't want no, he don't want half of us. He want all of us. It's either all of us or nothing. He want us to be hot or cold. Because if you're hot, you're on fire from it. If you're cold, you know where you stand. You, you, uh, you're a non-believer. But you can't serve two masters. You can't say you're a Christian and then you live in worldly. You still, you're still doing things you was doing. When you wasn't saved. But then you go to church on Sundays. Then right after you go to church on Sundays, you were you in the you right back at it doing the same thing you was doing before you even got saved. It don't it don't work like that. God wants us to be all for him or not at all. We can't pick and choose. Let's just be real. Like if you're in a relationship with somebody. And you don't want you don't want them to be with no one else. You want them to be you want to you want them to be with you and only you. You don't want them to be with uh, that person and, and, and you too. Also, I mean anybody that got that got some sense, they they don't want to share nobody. They want that person to be committed to them. They want that person to be loyal to them, just as that person wants you to be loyal to them. You know, is it is it's either. We serving the Lord or we serving Satan. It can't be both. We can't be lukewarm Christians. Let's go. Let me go touch on a few more scriptures. Just going to read a few of them. Having the appearance. Let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 5. Having the appearance of godliness but denying the power. Such Avoid such people. Also Matthew 7 chapter 7 verse 21. Not everyone who say to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the ones who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Clearly. Clearly. What did he, what did he just say? Not everyone who say to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but the ones who does the will of my Father who are in heaven. So that is just clearly tell you. Just because you're a believer, that don't mean you're going to go to heaven. This is a lifestyle. Those who be, those who that are obedient, obedient, Lord, those who are obedient to God's word will enter to the kingdom of heaven. Those who do the will of, of the Father. Those who that are righteous. Those who are living for the Lord. Those who are truly new creatures, became baptized, became saved, and repent. And a, and a true follower of Christ. That's what he want. He don't want nobody saying, yeah, I believe in Jesus. And, and then you go off and commit and sin. No, don't get me wrong. Nobody is perfect. We all fall short of God's glory. Nobody's perfect. But let me tell you, you just can't keep willfully sinning every day and all day. Because one day God's grace is going to run out. His mercy is going to run out on you. You see, you can't, you can't be like, we can't be like, yeah, I'm going to do this and do that because I can just repent and God going to forgive me. Like I said, true repentance is turning away from that sin. If you keep on committing the same sin over and over and over again and knowing that you do it, eventually God, mercy and grace is going to run out on you. You don't know when God coming back. You, go, you, you don't know when God's mercy might run out, when his grace could run out on you. You could be driving in a car and get in a car accident and die in your sin. You don't know that. That's that's a dangerous game to play. That's a very dangerous game to play, thinking you got time to repent, 
think you got time, nothing going to happen you on this earth, you don't, you don't want to play them type of game because you don't know what can happen. Like I said, anything can happen. You could die in your sleep and don't wake up. You could just take a nap and not even thinking about the sin you, you did and don't wake up and die in your sin and go to hell. Let's stop playing with God. It's either God or nothing. We can't have one foot in the world and one foot with Christ. Even I'm guilty of that. I just said it. Even I'm guilty of that. I can't, I can't serve God and then serve the world too because it don't work that way. It just, I just can't do worldly things. I can't be a part of this world because I know this world don't have, the world can't offer me eternal life. The world can't get me into heaven. No, don't get me wrong. God is still in control of this world, but, you know, he got the devil on the least. But the devil run this world. The devil run this world. So either you're a follower of Christ or you're a father of, of, of Satan. You can't serve two masters. You can't be worldly. You can't do what everybody else is doing. It's going to catch up with you one day. You know, I, 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 I made a few mistakes myself being a part of this world. And then, you know, just recently, you know, you know, just doing stuff I know I ain't got no business doing. Did something I shouldn't have done. And I, you know, I, I, I slept on it and I felt bad about it and I should have never done it. And I know I'll never do that again. I just got caught up in the moment. We, we as Christians, we make mistakes. Nobody perfect. Nobody's perfect. And um, like, like I say to other people, I got to be careful of that, you know. I just got I gotta be doers of the word. I just can't only be a hearer of the word. I gotta set an example. You know, people are looking at us Christians and we gotta set examples like God wants us like like God wants us to do. We can't be doing things of the world. God called us to to serve him, to spread his gospel. How can I spread the gospel when I'm doing stuff when I'm a part of the world? I gotta separate myself from the world. They're not gonna know I'm a Christian if I'm if I'm looking like the world and doing things of the world. You know what I mean by looking like the world, I mean just doing what the world do. You know, I gotta be separated. And then, you know, I'm setting an example. Ain't nobody gonna take me seriously if I'm out there doing everything, if I'm doing what they doing. If I'm sitting there drinking and smoking and doing everything they doing, people ain't gonna take me seriously. It's either I'm a follower of Christ or I'm a follower of Satan. I can't do both. I can't follow Satan and then follow God at the same time. It, I, it just ain't going to work that way. We all make mistakes. Nobody perfect. We got to correct ourselves. And we also got to, you know, be corrected too sometimes. If you know your brother and sister is in the wrong, you got to let them know. Because you just never know when God's coming back. You just never know when is that last person... Uh, here on earth, we just never know. We can't just keep taking God' grace for for for. Uh, we can't keep taking God' grace and mercy for for for, uh, for vanish. Can't keep taking him for vanish. We, we can't do that. We taking him for vanish. We can't do that. And God' grace and mercy gonna run out on us one day. We thinking we got time. We thinking we can. Just uh, let me go do this and I'll just repent later on. One day you ain't gonna get that chance. Like I said, you could die in your sleep. You could die in a car crash. You can get shot. You can accidentally get shot. Anything can happen. You can get an argument with somebody and, and, and get stabbed or something. Who knows what can happen to you? I'm just saying. You just never know. Let's not play with God. Let's just keep on spreading. It. If we as Christians, let's just keep on spreading the gospel and keep warning people about. You know how important it is to give your life to Christ, because at the end of the day, that's the only thing that matters. Not this, not the things in the world, not your fancy cars, all your nice clothes, and all that stuff, material things, and the stuff that you're doing. None of that stuff matter at the end of the day. Our main goal should be where we gonna go when we leave this earth, and we should be focused on that goal, serving God. Like God been so good to me, man. I just wanna do right by Him. From here on out, you know, I'm very sorry that I even went that route, the route that I went. But nobody perfect, like I said, we all make mistakes. But uh, yeah, I want to, I would, like I said, I want to hear, well done, my son.
I don't want her to depart from me because I'm I'm caught up in this world and the things of this world. I know they ain't gonna get me nowhere. I gotta do what I gotta do what, what the Lord want me to do. I can't do what the world want me to do. We get we fall trapped into get caught up in worldly things and people of the world and doing things for people of the world and things like that. And that could leave that could lead us on a dire downward spiral. No, let's just keep our eye focused on the Lord and do what the Lord wants us to do. Do what God wants us to do. Not people of this world, not what they want us to do. Not try to be people pleaser. Not try to make people happy. You just, some, you know, I've been evicted. I, I mean, I felt trapped to that too. Sometimes we just gotta say no. No matter what the consequences are, we just gotta say no. Even if it means we're gonna lose friends, we just gotta say no. We know, we know, we as Christians, we know what we're doing is right, and we know what we're doing wrong. And if you know what you're doing wrong, I, I urge you to repent from that sin and, and follow Jesus 100%. Because that's the only thing that matters at the end of the day. What you're doing for Jesus, not what you're doing for your friend, your cousin, your uncle, your dad, your mom, your your sister, your brother, nope. The only thing that matters is what you're doing for Jesus. Because he's the only one that can promise us eternal life. I'll say that again. What you do for everybody else don't matter. Jesus is the only one that can promise you eternal life. We only got we only got a short time here. We think in 40, 50 years is a long time. That ain't actually nothing compared to eternal life. Think about it, eternal life. Yeah, shoot, 10,000, five, you know, 50,000 years go by, we still gonna be living with the Lord. Either with the Lord or in hell. You pick and choose, choose today or who you wanna serve. Choose today or who you wanna spend eternity with. Either you wanna spend eternity with our Lord and Savior, or you wanna spend eternity with your, with the uh, with Satan. Remember, it's forever. You're gonna be there forever. Wherever you go, you're gonna be there forever. You you on a one way ticket to where you're going and that's it. It's a one way trip trip. I mean it's a one way ticket. It ain't no round trip ticket. It's a one way ticket. So I'm telling y'all, let's not be lukewarm Christians. Let's cut all the bull crap. You see this the state that the world is. It, you see the state that the world is in right now. You'd be a fool to have one foot in the world and one foot with Jesus. No, let's just focus on Jesus. Period. You see what's going on in the world? All kind of stuff going on. I made a mistake, but I'm no fool. I know who I want to serve, and I'm going to continue to serve him to the day I die. And I urge y'all too, if you don't know Jesus, please accept him right now into your heart. Just believe that he died for you. Just be like, Lord, my Lord and Savior, thank you for dying for me on that cross on Calvary. I trust you with my life. I give you all my problems. I want to live. For, I want. I want to live for you, and only you. I accept you into my heart. I want to serve you for the rest of my life. And we and and be sincere. And have God come into our life and start living for Him, and then get baptized. In the name of Jesus. And just start living righteous the best way we can. And ask God to guide us through everything we do. And have God come into our life because you only get one chance to do this right. Because once you go gone, that's it. Ain't no coming back. Ain't no coming back. So we can't be lukewarm Christians. I'm talking to all the Christians out there. You can't be a lukewarm Christian either you're for Jesus or you're not. And it's going to be worse on us, us as Christians, knowing the truth. And then yet we still want to Live for, live, live for ourselves. We gotta, we, we gotta, we gotta do right by Him, and only Him. But um, I just want to just talk to talk to the our, talk to the Christians about that. The time we are living in right now. Turn away from the, turn away from your sin. Try to try to do your best. Because it, it counts right now. It gets shorter and shorter and shorter. And not to mention, you can die any day. 
You don't you don't get a second chance to say I'm sorry, Lord, give me another chance. This is it. We gotta make this count right now. We gotta make it count. We gotta tell many people as we can about the Lord to get right with him. So many people out here lost. So many people out here brainwashed. But like I said, I'm gonna start living for God. I mean, I'm going to continue to live for God 100%. And I'm not doing no more worldly things at all. It's either God or nothing. And I don't care who don't like it, who, who don't approve of it, or none of that. It's over with. Y'all be safe out there. God love y'all. I love you guys. Peace.